Hello grade 6, how are you today? Uh, our lesson today is about the language building. We have a language building lesson. So I want you now to open your uh, language books, page 129. 129. Okay, today we are going to talk about the because and the so that clauses. Let's start. We can make our writing more interesting by thinking carefully about our sentences. So when we want to talk and when we want to speak, so we need to think more uh, about our sentences. We want to think carefully about the sentences so we can make them more interesting. Our writing and our speaking can be more interesting by adding some of these uh, adverbs. They, we are saying that these adverb clauses. So let's start. This is a simple sentence. This is an example of a simple sentence. The bins were empty. The bins were empty. These are the bins and they are empty. We can tell the reader more about why the bins were empty by adding a because close so when we just say the bins were empty it will be more interesting if we add if we added why the bins were empty by adding what because close what is the because close let's see here the example the bins were empty because we were away on holiday so the bins were empty this is the reason so because gives us the reason why the bins were empty because we were away on holiday so this is a reason for and this is a result this is a result and this is a reason the bins were empty why because we were away on holiday so this is a because clause we call this a because clause now we are going to discuss these clauses. We will read these uh, sentences. We said that this is a simple sentence. And when we add a because clause, it becomes more interesting. So now we are going to see these simple sentences. We want to read them and we will add because clauses to them. Discuss because clauses which could be added to each of these sentences. Complete the sentences. So we are going to complete these sentences by adding because clauses like this. Let's start. We have dustbins outside our houses. If we want to add a reason why we have dustbins outside our houses, we have so many reasons. We can say because we need somewhere to put rubbish. Let's write it. Because because we need somewhere because we need somewhere to put rubbish maybe. This is a reason to put rubbish. This is sentence number one. This is a reason. This is a reason why we have dustbins outside our bins because we need somewhere to put rubbish. Now, let us talk about another reasons. Maybe we can say because they are too big to keep inside. Maybe because the rubbish collectors need to get them easily. So that's why that's why we put them outside. Let's go now to sentence number two. A rubbish lorry comes regularly. We said that the rubbish lorry comes regularly. Give me a reason of that. Why? Maybe we can say we can say because there is a lot of rubbish to collect. Yes, so it comes regularly. Maybe because the bins need to be emptied often. We have two reasons and you can add any reason that you want. I will write because, because there is 
there is a lot of rubbish to collect. This is the sentence. Now, let's go to number three. We should never drop our letter on the street. We said that that letter means rubbish or garbage. So we should never drop our letter on the street. Why? We have many reasons. Maybe because it makes the street look untidy. Maybe because it is unhygienic. Because someone else has to clear it up. I will write because it is unhygienic. So I will write it down. Because... It is unhygienic. It is unhygienic. This is the reason. This is why. Because it is unhygienic. Now, let's see sentence number four. I would not like a landfill site near my house. Give me a reason why. You would not like a landfill site near your house. Give me, there are so many reasons. Maybe because it is noisy. Maybe because it's dirty. Maybe because it's smelly. So we have many reasons. I will write because it is smelly. This is the reason. Because it is smelly. Now, let's see. The last sentence, number five. The flow chart is a good way to present the information. When we read the text, we say that this is an information text. It's like the flow chart, the flow chart. It is good. It is a good way to present the information. Why? Uh, I think because it's easy to understand. Maybe because you can see each step clearly. Maybe because you can see that one step leads on to another. I think because it's easy to understand. So I will write because it is easy to understand. Because it is easy to understand. This is a reason. This is why. The flow chart is a good way to present the information. This is the answer of this exercise. Now we will move to the so that close. Let's start reading about it. Here is another simple sentence. This is a simple sentence. The rubbish is crushed. Look at the rubbish in the uh, uh, rubbish lorry. It is crushed. The lorry is crushed. I will now give you why the rubbish is crushed by adding so that. So we can tell the reader more about why the rubbish is crushed by adding a so that close. So that close, it can tell us why the rubbish is crushed by adding so that close. So this is the sentence, how it becomes. The rubbish is crushed. This is a simple sentence. We add a so close. Uh, so close, so that close, so that it takes up less space. This is a result. So this is a result. So I have a bin in my room. Why? So that I have somewhere to put my rubbish, or so that I don't leave rubbish on the floor, or so that my my room is tidy. So, this is the question. It's like this question, but we don't want to add because we will add so that. So, I have a bin in my room uh, so that my room is tidy. This is a cause. So that my room is tidy. So, we use so that. It's another way to... I tell the reader why something happened. Number two, the rubbish lorry collects rubbish. Maybe we can say so that the houses and streets are clean and tidy. 
or so that rubbish does not pile up or so that it's taken to the right place. So the rubbish lorry collects rubbish. I will write, uh, what, what do you think? I will write so that so that it is taken it is taken to the right place to the right place this is the sentence let's continue number three landfill sites are used we said that landfill sites are used. Give me a reason why they are used. Maybe we can say so that people don't burn rubbish. Or maybe so that it's not left in heaps. Or maybe so that the rubbish can be covered up. All those sentences are true. I will write so that people don't burn rubbish. We said that when you burn the rubbish, you will not have good gases so that we said that we have many reasons we so, so that the rubbish the rubbish can be covered can be covered up i will go with the sentence covered i will choose it okay number four in landfill sites, a layer of soil is put on the rubbish. Give me a reason why in landfill sites, a layer of soil is put on the rubbish. What is why? So that it is covered up? Yes, maybe. So that other rubbish can be put on top? Maybe. Or so that the land is filled in? We have these three reasons. I will go with what i will go with so that it is covered up again so that it is covered up it's covered up okay number five and the last one i will pick up any letter in my school when you see the letter on your school you should pick them up why? So that our school is tidy or so that other children will do the same thing. So we have many reasons why. I will choose so that our school is tidy. So that our school is tidy. So these are the answers of this exercise. So we learned about because clause and about so that clause and we said that we use them when we want to make our writing more interesting. So we add to the simple sentences why the simple sentence, this example, the bins were empty because we were away on holiday. It makes the writing more interesting give, gives us a reason or gives a result for something and so that the same like this why so that clause the rubbish is crushed the rubbish is crushed so that it takes up less space so this is how we use them so that and what and because i want you to write these answers on your language books and this is the only thing that I want you to learn from this topic. Please grade six, study well. And if you have any question, you can send me and ask me anytime you want. Have a nice day. Bye bye.